John Titter, the man from the year 2036. John Titter's first communication with us was in January of 2001. This is the post. Greetings. I am a time traveler from the year 2036. I am on my way home after getting an IBM 5100 computer system from the year 1975. My time machine is a stationary mass, temporal displacement unit manufactured by General Electric. The unit is powered by two, top spin, dual positive singularities that produce a standard, offset type of a sinusoid. I will be happy to post pictures of the unit. John did post pictures of his time machine. Several in fact. Over the four months that John posted online, he even described the mechanics of time travel. I won't go into the nitty gritty details here, I will leave a link in the description though. Many predictions John made have come true and others not so much. John explains this. As the time machine travels backwards through time, the divergence between world lanes increases. If you imagine this process as a cone, you can see that, the farther away you are from your point of origin, or prime world align, the greater the divergence becomes. This divergence confidence was calculated to be about 1-2%, to and newer versions of the time machine were being perfected in the future to make this more accurate. Here are some questions and answers. What are your memories of 2036? I remember 2036 very clearly. It is difficult to describe 2036 in detail without spending a great deal of time explaining why things are so different. In 2036, I live in central Florida with my family and I'm currently stationed at an army base in Tampa. A world war in 2015 killed nearly 3 billion people. The people that survived grew closer together. Life is centered on the family and then the community. I cannot imagine living even a few hundred miles away from my parents. There is no large industrial complex creating masses of useless food and recreational items. Food and livestock is grown and sold locally. People spend much more time reading and talking together face to face. Religion is taken seriously and everyone can multiply and divide in their heads. How is our world line different from this one? For starters, the fact that I'm here makes it different. I've also noticed little things like news events that happen at different times, football games won by other teams, things like that. I would guess the temporal divergence between this world line and my original is about 1 or 2 percent. Of course, the longer I am here, the larger that divergence becomes from my point of view. Titter came seemingly out of nowhere with a message about the direction our culture was headed and the consequences that would follow if nobody cared, and indeed he was correct about the major directions things would go. While details have not been 100% correct that is what multiverse theory predicts across slightly divergent world lanes as Titter illustrated by books not written and sporting events ending differently. But major things are less likely to be changed, so they are the best indicators of Titter's authenticity. Sure it could be just an amazing coincidence that Orwell's dystopia came late but reason and logic in the light of the internal consistency of Titter's worldview cannot falsify his story, on the contrary the test of time so far supports it. There have been many attempts to discredit Titter's story, by impersonating him and claiming to know his mother and even fabricating additional documents to conflate his original story with falsehood. Self-styled debunkers seize on any discrepancy, typically ignoring or never understanding the implications of multiverse theory, and spout some of the wildest conclusions as if they have proven something with utter certainty. Their denial of any rational scientific view of accepting reality whatever the evidence indicates it to be invalidates whatever agenda it is they are driven by. We all know that the world we live in now is not the one that Tita described growing up in, although it seems it easily could have been if things had gone a little bit differently. That is consistent with divergence between world lanes created by the forewarning we received. Millions of people learned about Tita's story and watched it begin to play out at least, waiting for the other shoe of full-blown civil war to drop. That had to have an effect. If Titter's worldview is correct enough of us cared to change the world align, so we may have exceeded Titter's opinion of us after all. Time will tell but we are not out of the woods yet. I like to think that the people of Titter's world line that he judged so harshly did not have the benefit of the warning he gave us, and their normal human tendencies to place trust in their leaders might account for a lot of the apathy that let things get much worse for them. We on the other hand know better by benefit of being warned. 
Only the stupidly warlike and apathetic type of Americans titter so despised when he first got here could still cause titter's prediction of global nuclear war to come true, and while there are still plenty of them they are still in the minority and most of us seek something greater and more noble for our country than tax cuts for the rich. You should still pay attention to whatever new evidence arises and keep your mind open to it, but don't be swayed by the arguments of lighter weight right-wing loudmouths who will claim the story a hoax because they are speaking from superficiality and ignorance and they would be among the Americans that Twitter detested for their complacency, apathy, and willingness to accept the status quo. There are still many of them and they would drag us down with them if they could. But we are better than that. America is better than that. We are not driven toward nuclear war like so many lemmings headed toward a cliff so long as we remain aware that we create the world we live in. That we have the ability to guide the outcome of our world line among the many possibilities in the multiverse explains how we can have free will and is perhaps the most important message Tita gave us.